Hey, welcome back. So, I have no idea what kind of wood this is. And uh, when I started when I started with it, the camera wasn't working. When we picked it up, I thought it was cherry cuz it was all this color red, if you can kind of see that. Kind of has the grain of an oak. Well, it has the open grain of an oak. Could be a walnut. Kind of has the color of a walnut, but it doesn't have the smell of walnut. So I don't, I don't I have no idea what this is. It has a kind of a brownish, I mean, you see red, looks like walnut, and then green. I don't know. If you kind of have an idea what this is, let me know. So, anyway, um, I want to do a little hollow form with this. And the grain's pretty cool. I thought it was going to be pretty plain. But if I do it right and it uh, kind of doesn't have as much figure as I thought, then uh, well, my original thought was going to do some carving inside, but had to do a hollow form first. I got the camera mounted on the lathe, so it's probably going to vibrate, but we're going to see how that goes. So, like I said, got it roughed out a little bit. Got to flatten up the front and then do some shaping, and then we'll get to hollowing. I'm going to take a break from this and I've been threatening on making a longer handle for my little hollowing tool for some time so I'm going to take this off and I'm going to make me a handle. By golly. Still don't know what that is. It's very fibrous kind of green. It's changing color as it dries though. I don't know. Anyway, handle. So now that it's dried up quite a bit, I, uh, I can tell that it's walnut. It had very odd colors though, so anyway. So, handle's turn. Time to go. I like the shape of it. Um, I decided not to carve it. I did nick it there. Hopefully I can, it'll come out. Um, I put a little sanding sealer on it. It's been a while since I've done any beads. So, I thought maybe putting a couple beads on there and uh, coloring it in might be kind of cool. I left it thick, a little thicker, just in case, since it is all side grain. I don't really know how the beading tool is going to work. It might yank it out and then I have to reshape it. But we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. Thinking about putting like six six beads on, maybe five.
pretty sure that one chipped out. Well, I think the idea of it's nice. But as you can see, if you can see here, because it's in grain, it kind of chipped out. I might not have been holding my tool just just exactly right, and it's flat right here, so it's not completely round. So, back to the drawing board. I'll go ahead and cut that back off and uh, try something else. So, and then just settle in for a little bit of burning. Good time to catch up on your favorite YouTube channels or podcasts. All right, so I got all the all the lines burnt, hanging stuff on the floor again. Um, Came out pretty good. They're not exactly even, but it's not supposed to be. So now it's time to bust out some coloring paper and draw a pattern. I usually have the kids do this and have a whole bunch, but I don't know where they're at. So, and the kids are at school. So now it's up to me. So, gonna figure out a pattern and then we'll get to coloring. Not a huge fan of the pattern, but it looked really cool on paper. So, just going to hit it with some sandpaper real light, not touching this part. I think I'm going to hollow it out a little bit more. Put some finish on her and see how she looks. Now we wait. Gonna do three or four coats of that. Really light sand in between, maybe. You can see right here in the grain, it's uh, sucking it up. So, three or four coats. And pictures at the end. All right, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. So just in case you're wondering how I clean up the bottom. Normally I would not use a rag, but it's hot in here and it's kind of like a fan. So after that it's just really gentle. I have it on the scroll, scroll chuck inside. The rag is helping not more of the finish on the neck. It's about this time I usually do something really stupid and break through the bottom or run a big gouge up the side. Destroy the whole work. No, I can't say you. But this is usually when it happens. 
It's always that last cut right here. You're like, oh, just one more cut would be good. Yeah, just one more cut will be good. Famous last word. So scroll chuck, brag, no marred, no marred neck. So, like I said before, there she is.